The Calabar is going to be clean again, very, very soon. Not long. We are in the city of Calabar, Cross River State. So here is a new constructed road being done by the Excellency, the Governor of Cross River State, Prince Basi Otu, and here is a concrete road being constructed by the new governor. So we'll show you around the road to show you how solid this road is and is a new constructed road by the Excellency Prince Basio to the governor of Cross River State, the People's Paradise, Calabar. So you can see this is the concrete road that is being constructed by the governor. So we'll take you around and show you around the road. We are started with this pilot project. As a matter of fact, we borrowed this technology from a boy. <laughs> Because when we check the cost and we check durability and sustainability, we came to a conclusion that for a cash trap state like us or us, we have to do something that is economical but very beneficial to the people. People, are, are we not happy with this road? Are we not happy with this road? Honorable Minister, this particular road was completely impassable. Wow. Yes. wow. It was a terrible one, but today you've seen the happiness on the faces of the people here. We are going to replicate this in many, many, many localities. Wow. And so far as you've assured and guaranteed us of your support, yeah. by the time you come back, because you promised to come back. Yes. Calabar, the state as a whole, will be a different place. So we we'll continue to thank you and we thank the people for their patience. For those who have not gotten to them yet, please, exercise some patience, we we'll get to everywhere. The journey of a thousand miles always starts with a step. So we will reach everywhere. This is what we stand for to add value to humanity. Yes, and together, both of us, we will change the face of this state. And we will move to higher ground. Thank you very much. So why I came here today is actually to come and assess the situation first hand and then make sure that uh, as from tomorrow, that things are done to begin to uh, make this dump site workable and that deliveries, trucks that are coming in are able to move in uh, very easily to uh, deliver their dump. The Calabar is going to be clean again, very, very soon, not long. Welcome to Calabar, Cross River State, where progress meets infrastructure excellence. Today, we bring you an exclusive claims of the transformative efforts led by the extreme state governor aimed at upgrading and enhancing the road network, ensuring a sustainable and durable future for the state. Concrete roads like the one you see before you are a testament to modern engineering and sustainability. Their durability ensures long-lasting use, reducing maintenance costs and providing a safe and reliable travel experience for years to come. We can express how much this concrete road has improved lives. It's smooth, durable and a testament to the commitment of the state governor in transforming the rural areas. The governor's dedication to upgrading the roads to concrete not only brings convenience but also showcases its visionary leadership for the state's progress. Governor Prince Basi Otu has demonstrated exceptional commitment to improving the infrastructure, recognizing the vital role that robust road systems play in the socio-economic development. This concrete road is a significant stride towards a brighter and more prosperous Calabar Cross River State. Concrete roads contribute to economic growth, attracting investment, boosting tourism, and enhancing connectivity within and beyond the state. These improvements also prioritize safety and comfort for all road users.
Together, we celebrate Governor Prince Basi Otu for his dedication in transforming Calabar and Cross River at large. One concrete road at a time, a brighter future lies ahead, paved with durable infrastructure and progress. I'm so, so excited, you know, being on top of uh, one of the concrete routes you have started here in Cross River. And this is exactly what we are talking about. For the next 50 years, this road will continue to be like this. You have also put in drainage by the site. I'm told that we are going to plant uh, masquerades by the site and also put solar light. What else are we talking about? That is development. That is bringing support to the people. And uh, I want to assure you, Excellency, yes, this uh, rural rules, you know, and trunk B rules, you can use PRC mesh. And then for the trunk A rules, federal rules, and the state federal, you know, state trunk A rules, you can do our design also on reinforcement. That great uh, 30 concrete is the answer. Vibration of the concrete is the answer. Preparation of the subgrade and, and the base course, they are the answer. The moment you do this and you put this, nobody will bother again about a bad contractor. There are so many benefits of this concrete road. I see that it's your people and some of my people from my body. It's a transfer uh, technology. And I said, bring more people, then engage in much more routes. Bring uh, people of Cross River, the engineers, non-engineers. Everybody became engineer in my state, and that is what you are doing. You know, this engineering is a five-year affair, you know. And so you can learn the practical aspect of it even within one month. And before you know it, on that di direct labor program, you know, of your administration, which you started, you are going to make a remarkable mark. I commend you very highly and uh, I want to assure you of our partnership and support. Whatever we are going to do, we do. Thank you for joining me on this channel. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, click on the subscribe and the notification button below so that when we post a video like this, you can be notified. Thank you. Please like, comment, and share this video. Thank you.